obviously very hard to put into words what just happened out there, but you know, walk me through it. Yeah, I, you know, I think I think the first thing I want to say is you know, we're, we're obviously all devastated that the season ended, and we feel I, I feel like we have an incredible group. They've been incredible all year, um, so we're. We're sad the season ended, but we're so proud of, of this group and what they've done and um, who they are as, as people, as competitors. Um, so, I mean, I think that's the most important thing. And, uh, you know, very difficult game. Vermont, Vermont's a, a very good opponent. We, we knew that coming in. Um, they've got excellent, excellent players. They're well coached. Uh, they have a real clear idea of what their identity is. Uh, they make the game incredibly difficult for you in, on both sides of the ball, the way they defend, uh, how they attack through kind of some of their direct play and flick downs and a uh, little combination play is is difficult to deal with. I actually thought on, for the most part, uh, we, we really dealt with it well. And as that game settled down, I thought we got a hold of the game and we were able to keep the ball. It was difficult to break them down at times and, and I, I did feel like we probably created enough chances where and, and got into areas where yeah we, we, we could have gotten the goal in regulation. Um, so it's it's one of those games where I think the the, the two teams and, the, and this is why we're in this round um, a second round game. It's a it's going to be a very close game. And unfortunately, we came out on the wrong side of that. What was going through your mind when you saw both of those, both of those Vermont go-ahead goals there? Because you got up ahead of them there early. Yeah, you know, I, I I think we got we got caught playing out, obviously on the first goal, and you know one of the things we didn't want to do was was gift them something early, with you know playing out of the back, and and so you saw us go a little bit more direct initially, and. Uh, so that was that was a disappointing moment, but it's one one, and um, and we felt like okay, we were able to do the things that we talked about doing in, in terms of being able to possess the ball and getting behind them and create chances. Um, so you know, I, I I felt like okay, one one, we can. I, I wasn't concerned that we weren't going to be able to continue and and get other chances and and try to get the go ahead goal. So. Um, yeah, and then and then obviously I, I I believe in this group and our ability to come back if we're down. Uh, we certainly create enough chances to to win these games that we're in. So yeah, I, I felt like we were going to get back into it and, and we were going to win it. Going into this, you thought some extra rest would be helpful to your team. They're coming off a game just a couple of days yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. You had some advantages there. Yeah, we did. We did, and I, I feel like it probably showed up a little bit in in terms of as the game went on. They they couldn't quite cover the ground and press us, so we we did have a lot of the ball. Um, they dropped a bit deeper, so I think what they did is they had to compensate for the fact that they were a little bit fatigued by sitting deeper, and it made it difficult for us to get in behind them. Um, behind the scenes, we had some stuff going on too with with um, different guys with injuries, and so maybe we weren't at our best physically in a bunch of different departments too and maybe that that probably contributed a little bit to, to our sharpness at times what do you think kind of happened over these last couple of weeks you guys were number one in the country not too long ago and then yeah. the first or one game and done in the ncaa tournament how do you explain or what do you think happened over these last few weeks well i think i think a couple things happened one you're playing really high level competition right so if you look at the um the jmu game that that we dropped Jam using the 16, right? They're they're a top team, and we knew that. So, uh, and then this game, again, another top team. I think they were ranked 14th in the country at one point. I saw. So they're they're a top 20 team, um, and those games exist on a knife's edge, right? And they can go either way. Um, I would probably say some of the things that we had going on behind the scenes, just that may be just enough. To push you the wrong direction on on some of those uh, moments in the game where where we concede, um, or maybe even some of those moments where we're getting into the final third and we're not quite sharp enough. And uh, and I think I think these things that that we were dealing with, um, especially in a high level game against a really good team, 
that that maybe is is what took us down a little bit from from our best and on that note despite this finish how do yeah. you hope this is a program building season yeah i think I, when we want to be back here again and again and again um we 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 feel like we can and so there's a lot of young players in this team and if, if you look at the attacking group in particular which has a lot a lot more years to, to give there were a lot of freshmen that were performing really well in, in the season um, and and there's a lot of potential in that group to get better and and so this this needs to be um, this needs to be the standard that, that we have and uh, I, th I think we can. I think we can continue to have this standard and improve upon it. Is that just one of the things about this sport? It's so hard to win a national championship because it's such a physically demanding sport. It's such a long season. You don't want to peak too early. You want to try to peak at the right time. Is that just an example of, of how hard it is to, to accomplish the goals that you guys are trying to do? I I, I do. I, I think when, when you look at all these games, and and you look at how close the teams are, and what has to go your way and and i've been very fortunate to have have been to a final four and won a national championship and you know gone gone pretty deep in different tournaments as an assistant coach and two 16s and and some things have to go your way and sometimes that that's not on the field sometimes it's something has to go your way where you're playing with really healthy players who are who are peaking at the right time um and it Sometimes it doesn't work out that way for you, and and unfortunately in in this year, where where we were, we were flying, and um, there was a lot of belief in the team, and then sometimes, some things will go against you, whether it's injuries, whether, um, you know what whatever it is, it can happen. What do you want the players that are returning next year to take away from the end of this season and the season as a whole? I. I I think it's I think it's every year um, winning college soccer games is incredibly difficult and that the work you put in is going to directly equate to your success and it's it's the work you put in now so obviously we're going to get some time off and, and, and we're going to debrief with the team and, and we're going to look at the ways that we can get better in, in all sorts of different ways and then in the spring we got to come back and we got to work uh, and and and, and we have to we have to pinpoint what it is that we need to be doing better, um, what they need to do better individually, and and they need to take away that okay. This is we we once you've had a taste of being in these environments, NCAA tournament games, um, postseason play, with within your conference, you want to do it again and again and again. Um, and there's nothing that's better. And so hopefully this gives them a taste for, okay, this, this is what we want. I mean, incredible crowd, amazing atmosphere. The table set for, for a, a, a big story that we can create, um, but it's not going to happen this year now. So, so now we need to work towards what our goals are, which is to continue to pursue championships. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thank yeah.